Today I'll be teaching you how to make bacon. So you need an iron cast pan and some bacon. So first, and always first, wash your hands. After you've washed your hands, I'm gonna turn on the exhaust so that there's not any smoke. And I'm gonna put the power setting to power three on the induction stove. But before doing that, you actually put the bacon on the stove. You put the bacon like that. See, I cut it in half so that there's no smoke. The bacon. And the bacon's a bit brown because it's been a while that I've cooked this. So it's been sitting like that. So that's it. As you can see, we are aligning it like this. You don't have to, but we'll turn it to a few issues. It's here. Hot. Alright, now I turn on the stove and I set it to three. In my case, three works the best. But I, I'm going to start it with four. And after you lay the bacon to wash your hands, all in one. sizzling a lot right now and I think right now would be a good time to flip it. As you can see it's still not sticking as much as it has it like normal. And it's very sizzly so you gotta be careful. The wear protection, like eye protection or any protection. I'm wearing eye protection right now so that I don't burn my eyes out. As you can see this creates a lot of smoke. Alright, I'm going to flip it again. Again. See, it's curling up already. And if you don't want to curl it up, you can put an item over it, which is food safe and heat resistant. As you can see, this one's crawling up over here, so I'll give you two of these tools. This is an avocado smasher, and it works just as well for this purpose. You can just leave it like that, and it should flatten it out. But the only issue is that it'll be make the bacon begin to stick, as you can see. It's not mandatory, but you could do it if you want. And I'm going to flip again. It's already beginning to brown. And I notice the ones on the edge are not cooking as well as the ones in the middle. So what I'm going to do is move these to the side and bring the ones at the edge to the middle so that it cooks better. See the sizzle is increasing now. It's already beginning to brown. This piece of bacon looks about cooked already. But this one is also about done. As you can see, the stove is getting really hot, so I'm going to reduce the temperature. And as you can see, this piece looks a little bit raw at this end, a little bit white. This piece is already yellow, golden. This one's probably cooked already. I'm going to flip this one, and I'm going to flip this one. So I'm going to set this aside real quick. Onto this thing so that the bacon oil strains out to the bottom tray. And this one, the oil is already really hot right now. I might, I might as well just put this one aside as well. So now this one, here. I need these to the center so that it can cook more even. Look at all the oil that's already coming out. It's already a lot of oil. Really hot as you can see. I think it looks about cooked for this piece. So I'll put this aside. And I'll put this aside. So right now I'm going to turn off the stove. 
for safety reasons, but I don't think this bacon, this batch of bacon is going to be really bad. So I'm going to put more bacon. So let's try these three. And this is how the other bacon turned out. It's a bit overcooked. Uh, one of the better bacon pieces are here. It's not as good as I normally would make it, I think, because it's dry. Uh, here's the other one. Nice and oily and hot. And this one is squishy. I'm going to move these to the side so that there's room for these. See? It's very dangerous. And from the previous two bacons we made, this is how it turns out. Now this is not the best made bacon that I've ever made. I made puts like nice and gold. I think it's just because this, this bacon is more dry. As you can see it's not as red and vibrant. Uh, but this is the bacon I'm using. And over here. Oh, oh that's tasty. Splatters a lot. It'd be useful to get a splatter jar to prevent it from going all over the place. This rack, by the way, is made from a tray and uh, another one of these mesh nets. They came with the air fryer, so yeah. And this is how the bacon looks. Uh, I'm gonna put it on a plate and. Thumbnail shot, and that's how you make bacon. See you in the next video.